Hey Fluff Bunnies, it's your girl Fluffy and I'm back with another video. But before we get into it, make sure at some point throughout this video you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when your girl decides to drop another video or decides to go live. Yeah, get into it! So today's celebrity tea, let me bring it to you, my girl Amanda Seals has decided to leave the TV show the real now you might remember amanda seals from seeing her on the show insecure more more recently you saw her on the real now besides that the real is the same tv show that let my girl tamar braxton go as well now let's get into it you guys know that amanda joined back in january of 2020 of this year so she's only been on the show barely six months it was time to renew her contract and girlfriend said she was not gonna renew her contract now let's talk about why so Amanda says that first off there's not enough diversity sitting in the executive chairs and what I think she means by diversity I think she means in skin tone colors there's not enough women of color or men of color that's sitting at the top making the big decisions and not only that but I think the girl is having an issue because she is woke. She is entirely too woke for the real. Now, I get it. The real wants to be real about their feelings and how this and that and the third. But what I did see with Tamar is they didn't fully allow Tamar to be herself. They wanted Tamar to be a toned down version of Tamar. And I knew that once they put Amanda on here, it was going to be the same exact thing. You want Amanda on here for her realness because you know people are going to tune in to what she has to say. But you want a watered down version of Amanda. And I think that's what happened. And I think Amanda kind of caught on that that's kind of what they wanted her to do was to tone it down some. And she made the remark as far as when they were asking her about the real was that I cannot talk to my people how they need to be talked to. Now, I understand where she coming from because sometimes when you too woke, baby, everybody ain't ready for you to be woke. You know what I'm saying? So you could be entirely too woke and everybody else around you, they barely waking up, honey. And I think that's what the issue, especially now that we have so many affluent issues that are taking place and they're so predominant, they're taking over. So this whole situation with George Floyd, everything has just revolved itself around it some way or another. So I think with her being so woke about this, this is the perfect time for her to realize that the real was never an actual platform that was meant for her because the girl needs her own show i don't know who listening but amanda need her own show honey because she's entirely too woke for the real because the real is it's very sappy it's very like it's a cute show but there's no reason that they should have ever called it the real because baby it has never been real okay the realest y'all ever got was when y'all had tamar on the show and tamar come on here and she get to correct the folks real quick in a real way but y'all didn't want that y'all it was too much attitude too much spiciness same thing was going to happen with amanda seals as well same thing was going to exactly happen so i'm not sure why she chose to go on to the real to get you know to use it as a platform maybe she thought it was going to be something different maybe they presented it to her differently but i can tell you right here right now that the real amanda seals it was never going to be a perfect match ever because the real is they they're not as real as they portray themselves to be. And not to talk down on the show because I do enjoy the show for what it is. I do enjoy the show for what it is. But it is not the real and conscious woke that Amanda is. So I'm not mad at her for not being on the show because what she did later on to go and say was that she was going to continue to find a way for her to make her bread For myself where I don't have to do things just for money. Where I can be like, y'all can keep that. Fuck out of here. Um... But I think a lot of that has also come from like my own confidence that like I'll find the bread you know in a in a manner that serves me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I I, I agree. Again, it is a luxury, but it does also require a, a, a conscious structure of things so that okay, I'm I'm gonna live like this so that I can so that I don't have to be chained to the bread. You know, that's why I don't, that's why I don't got no kids. That's why I, I guess I don't have you know, but. I ain't mad at you, Amanda. You gonna always with that type of mindset that you have, the the you know state of mind that you have, the awareness that you have. You're going to continue on, sweetie. But yeah, the real was never for you, boo. Let's talk about it. It was never for you. You too real for that show, honey. 
You should have known that signing in and signing on that dotted line. But I understand, sis. I ain't mad at you. Get your bread in a way that you can. Because like I said, that relationship only lasted six months. But she can find another one. The same way God gives it, he can take it away. And he can give it to you again twice fold. Hello, that part. Just in case if you did not know. So, what do y'all think? Do y'all think Amanda Seals was too real for the real? How do y'all feel about the real? Let's talk about it. You know, you got your girl Jeannie Mai on there. You got Lonnie Love. You got Tamara Mori. Dash, whatever her other last name is. But y'all know, you know, and Adrian Balon. How do y'all feel about all of that being together as casted as the real? I want to know your thoughts. So let's talk about it on in these comments. Go ahead and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe on this video. But that's all I have for you today, baby. <laughs> Get into it. I need to do my hair. Oh, it's looking raggedy. But whatever. <laughs> Bye.